So when you get to earth.nullschool.net, it comes up like this. Uh, to see the temperatures, because right now all it's showing you is wind and wind speed, go down here and click on Earth. And over here where it says overlay, you want to go to temperature. And now it's showing you uh, global temperatures. Go back up to Earth and click it again, and that minimizes the menu. <clears throat> now you can go around. Uh, spin the earth around and go find all these different temperatures. When you click on a location on the earth, down here it shows you the temperature in Celsius, um, it shows you, I think that's wind speed and uh, direction, and the coordinates. So you can keep clicking and look at the different types of, uh, or the different temperature readings for different places. You can zoom in if you double click on an area, um, or if you uh, slide in and out on your mouse. For elevation, you can come down here to height, and right now it's SFC, that's surface, but then you can go to all of these different elevations. Now these are actually measured in uh, pressure differences, not uh, meters or anything like that. Uh, so they go down in pressure, but when you click on each one, it shows you temperature changes uh, as you go higher and as you go lower. So that could help you out a little bit. Um, Surface is good though if you already know where there might be a mountain range or a change in elevation. Uh, for instance, the Rockies, or if you want to go over to the um, Himalayas, um, you can check temperature change that way too.